At the 1937 Soapbox Derby, the American boy was building for peace, not war, as boys his age were doing in Europe. It didn't work out that way, though. This is 15-year-old William Kotke, pictured with his dog at the Soapbox Derby in 1938. Lieutenant William Kotke was killed at age 22 on a raid over Tokyo in 1945. Marvin Hatchett delivered the Beacon Journal in the 1930s with dreams of getting an agricultural degree from the Ohio State University. He was killed in 1944 in the Battle for Rome. 14-year-old William Silvacool also delivered the Beacon Journal, and the young man who enjoyed athletics and detective stories planned to study chemistry at John Carroll University. William's outfit fought across the Remagen Bridge in the Germany, where he was killed in April 1945. The American boy was built for peace, but he went to war. During the late 1930s, everyone was concerned about Germany and the possibility of another world war. Americans were so concerned about Hitler in 1939 that they began reading Mein Kampf to see if they could figure out what his plans were, and in March 1939, Hitler was listed as the top nonfiction author in the United States. Americans had good reason to be concerned. Hitler conquers all these countries, including France. After France was defeated, America does something it has never done before. They begin drafting soldiers in peacetime for the first time in American history, and one million soldiers are drafted before Pearl Harbor. The first soldiers from Akron leave for service on a train in October 1940. There were 10 draft boards in the city of Akron during World War II, and each draft board represented 30,000 people. As the city's booming defense industry pushed the population close to 300,000, there were only two other cities in Summit County at the time, Cuyahoga Falls and Barberton. The rest of Summit County was fairly rural. Both my grandfathers were drafted before Pearl Harbor, and so was actor Jimmy Stewart. These men were originally supposed to serve one year, but after Pearl Harbor, they all serve until the war ends in 1945. In December of 1942, America lowered the draft age to 18 for the first time in the 20th century. This is what young men faced back then. My grandfather was booked to a high school class in 1933, and they were all in the service. If you were graduating high school during the war, you were getting more than a diploma. But it wasn't just a young man's war. This is the Beacon Journal reminding readers that when they turn 45, they are still eligible to be drafted. Even though men ages 38 to 45 weren't considered prime draft age, there were several men from Summit County that were drafted in their 40s and killed in action. In 1943, America began to draft fathers, and two million fathers were expected to be drafted by July 1, 1944. 192 Akron area fathers were killed during World War II, including three fathers of five who were drafted and killed in action. This is what they faced back then. On the left, it says war work for mothers. On the right, draft for fathers. They are both waving goodbye. Often the distance is victory till we meet again. One of the most famous fathers to be drafted was Ohio State's head coach, Paul Brown, at age 35. Here he is playing with the street kids in Columbus in his Navy uniform before he heads off to service. Because he is Paul Brown, one of the best coaches in football, he is assigned to coach Great Lakes football team and plays his former team Ohio State in Columbus in 1944. Before he is out of the Navy, Paul Brown is offered a job by a Cleveland businessman to be the highest paid football coach in history for a team that is named after him, the Cleveland Browns. Their first game was at the Rubber Bowl in 1946. The Goodyear blimp also went off to service. Secretly crossing the Atlantic in 1944 to hunt Nazi U-boats at Gibraltar and in the Mediterranean, and protecting President Roosevelt's ship when he met Churchill and Stalin at the Yalta Conference in 1945. There were four sizes and 154 blimps made during the war. Blimps operated off aircraft carriers to protect convoys. Blimp patrol squadrons armed with 50 caliber machine guns and depth charges helped drive Nazi subs away from the East Coast and out of the Gulf of Mexico. There were blimp patrols on the West Coast, too. This blimp patrol is pictured in San Francisco Bay, and this blimp patrol is operating out of Moffett Field in Southern California. Akron was the second largest industrial city in Ohio during World War II behind Cleveland and the 12th largest in the country. Akron produced military tires and synthetic rubber that were essential to winning the war. Firestone Tire and Rubber Company made 80% of the anti-aircraft guns for the Allies combined. Goodyear Aircraft produced thousands of Corsair fighter planes nicknamed Whistling Death by the Japanese for the sound they made as they sought Japanese planes out of the sky. But in the end, it was the soldiers that sacrificed the most. This is the list of Akron area war deaths on Memorial Day, 1944. This is what that same list looked like one year later on Memorial Day, 1945. 972 Akronites died all over the world between June 1st, 1944 and May 31st, 1945. On this anniversary of Pearl Harbor, remember the debt we owe to the individuals who made the ultimate sacrifice and the dreams they had.